What's up, my patient little persimmons? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we're back with another installment of Rob Reads Your Shit That You Probably Don't Want to Read Yourself. Now, as you can see, we will be covering the next mainline update that is due to release this week. However, I did also want to take a quick look at the staff response to what is going on with Echoes of Umbra. But before we jump into any of that, I did want to apologize that this video is coming to you guys so late. Rob had a little bit of a day yesterday. Cars broke down, tow trucks were involved with hot tow truck drivers, but uh, ice cream also melted. So it was a bit of a mixed bag and uh, we all had to do it in over a hundred degree heat. So let's just say it was not the most pleasant of days. But thank you for being here and still watching this video. Um, anyway, as you can see, DE Rebecca responded to the Echoes of Umbra feedback thread and she says, we're going to hold this back to act on weekend feedback and more. Two days isn't enough time to inject all the changes we want to add, so we will release this at a later date in a different form. The reward will likely be replaced with a new Lua lens for earning focus, details to come. Now, I do have to kind of point this out. This was definitely a quick pivot for them, um, which means that, you know, maybe the reward that's replacing Echoes of Umbra isn't necessarily the most fancy, it's a focus lens, but I will say one thing, you really need to focus on making sure that the rewards that you put out is focused, for lack of a better term, um, on the players that will be playing that node. And these are supposed to be high tier nodes, so you gotta keep in mind that a lot of these people are already hef heavily on their way through the focus tree if not already completed a whole lot of it. You have to remember that focus 2.0 came out a long time ago and made it like dead easy to get focus. So this feels a little bit off key as well, but again, it was a very quick pivot for them to add this new reward in, so you can't expect them to be perfect. Um, I'm really curious to see what they end up doing with Echoes of Umbra, where they end up placing it, because even at its core, I know that a lot of people out there were saying, oh, I mean, it's still interesting. I don't want interesting. I want effective. I want good. I want something to supplement the gameplay. I want to like be be boosted a little bit. All right. I want something something that feels like it's worthwhile. And to be honest, the whole echoes of Umber feedback or uh, uh, feature doesn't really seem worthwhile in any way, shape, or form. It just seems like another thing to meme over. And honestly, when it comes to Warframe, I'm tired of like giving in and wasting our time with memes. I want something like that's actually juicy. Uh, speaking of juicy, we have Saint of Ultra, which I'm really curious where the naming convention, because that sounds kind of cool. Like, it sounds like a kind of cool naming convention that we're going on. Anyway, it is coming this week to PC and coming soon to console. Uh, this week on PC, Gauss which I'm still not sure if that's the appropriate way to say it, but I am going to say Goss from this point on because legitimately, number one, it triggers people, and number two, uh, that's just the way it rolls off my tongue, shifts his kinetic abilities into overdrive along with a convoy of new gameplay, customizations, because it wouldn't be a Warframe update without customizations, and rewards. Face some of the toughest enemies in the origin system with six new disruption mode missions. Let the void consume you with the Harrow Reliquary collection. Show off your shredding skills with a playable Shazwin and more. Sprint into action as Goss. Um, now, I don't, I think I might have retweeted this on Twitter, but I'll leave that in the, um, the description box below just in case you guys want to go ahead and check out the Goss trailer. Um, one of the things that I did want to make mention for this is I find it really interesting that he's got a couple different ways to balance out his um, his battery. So we'll take a look at that in a second. High speed, low drag, Goss is turbocharged and ready for rapid engagement. Survive the new disruption mode expansion to build this supersonic Warframe. I kind of like the fact that that's the marketing that they're going with it, that it's supersonic, um, because if we think of it as speed, it kind of like, like clashes with Volt. Volt is still fast, but he's like electricity, supersonic, is like its own kind of realm. So passive, never stop moving. Keeping Goss in motion generates a, an electrical current that charges his speed gauge, helping shields recharge up to 80% faster and decreasing recharge delay up to 80%. 
Mach Rush, burst into Hyper Sprint to bowl over enemies and charge the battery, or crash into solid objects to generate powerful shock waves. Hold to rush continuously. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. I have a feeling that, like, straight out of the gate, I'm just gonna be smashing into walls. <laughs> but I guess they put a positive spin on it, right? Kinetic plating. Generate armor plating that converts a portion of absorbed kinetic damage into energy and protects Goss from being staggered or knocked down. I like that feature. I like that little extra bonus that they've got going on. Um, damage resistance is relative to battery level. I wonder how much we can max it out at, because usually they have a little bit of a cap. Um, thermal Sunder. Siphon kinetic energy from the area, charging the battery and inflicting cold status on nearby enemies. Hold reverses the process, draining the battery and inflicting heat status on nearby enemies. In my brain, I'm like, what's the point of even using the heat status then? I just want to charge my battery and keep up, like, the damage reduction and all that kind of stuff. Um, last bit, we have, and they didn't mention it here, but you can combine both to have, like, blast effects or supposedly double it up and strengthen, um, the existing effects. Like, ice instantly freeze and fire, um, double the, the damage fire that you're doing. Damage fire? At least that's what they said in the most recent updates, um, when they showed him off on, uh, the dev stream. So hopefully he still keeps that in bit of interestingness. Uh, moving along, we have a red line. Push Gauss's battery beyond the red line, supercharging his abilities and setting fire rates, attack speed, reload speed, and holster rate into overdrive. I like the fact that they don't mention movement speed. So I'm curious if they have movement speed there or if it's just um, if it's just all of the like little speed abilities. Um, when past the red line, bolts of arcing electricity dance periodically from Goss, exploding on on mass when he when the ability is deactivated. I'm really curious to see how all of that kind of like plays out because this is um, an ultimate that is mainly a buff, and I don't feel like we've had too many ultimates as of late that are just buffs. We'll see. Um, disruption mode expansion. Alec V, the ever the entrepreneur. Enter wow, enterprising businessman has sold his tech to anyone with credits to spare. As a result, disruption missions are popping up all over the origin system, bringing new rewards for willing Tenno like valuable Kuva from the new Kuva Fortress disruption node. I'm excited for that one. That one is a yes. Um, new missions slash tile sets. More disruption nodes are appearing in unexpected places, including the Corpus Outpost, Grenier Galleon, Grenier Settlement, Grenier Kuva Fortress, and Orican Moon. So basically with the Grenier and a couple bits of Corpus. Um, new challenges. Grenier enemies join the fray with a twist. Hex grotesque collection of ghouls take place of Alad V's amalgams, hold them off as they try to wrestle back control of the terminals scattered around the mission. Uh, new rewards, earn Kuva in Kuva Fortress disruption missions, or uncover the new Universal Syndicate Medallion found in all disruption nodes, except Mars, to gain 1,000 standing with any of the six core syndicates. Note the sacrifice quest must be completed to unlock disruption mission nodes for Kuva Fortress and Lua. I wonder if it's going to be chill enough for, for us to find these, uh, these new syndicate medallions. Um, I feel like... I feel like I've suggested Universal Syndicate Medallions before. Have I not? I feel like it's been there. Anyway, let's take a look at Tenno Reinforcements. Feel the need for speed with these brand new weapons and customizations. Excelitra. Never let a pit stop interrupt the action with Goss's signature primary weapon. I believe this was worked on by um, Liger Zanuka and they actually showed off some of their work um, online and it was pretty fucking beautiful so I can't wait to see how this turns out in game this is the one where basically uh, your reload as your reload speed increases while as you are sprinting or it is faster while you're sprinting um, Acarius uh, Goss's signature secondary packs a serious concussive punch I'm excited for these ones I really want to see how these play these are really either gonna be fucking awesome with tracking explosives, please DE, do not let the tracking explosives uh, do self damage. I will cry, they probably will, and you will all laugh at me as I try to use it. Um, Goss Mag Helmet, uh, a uniquely styled alternate helmet for Goss. Goss Mag? I get. Okay, Goss Mag Helmet, sure, why not? 
Um, then we have the Ultra Cyandana. Sleek and streamlined, Goss's signature Cyandana is sure to turn heads as you speed by. Is it me, or does Mag have a helmet called Goss? And that's one of her alternate helmets. And DE made a Goss helmet that's named Mag as a flip. Put that, listen, it's like 5 a.m. here, so you just have to understand Rob's brain isn't completely there, but I think that that's like a, a kind of hilarious inside joke if that's the case. Because I feel like there is a Mag Goss helmet, so they made a Goss Mag helmet. Oh my god, DE. The jokes. I get it. Um, Ultra Cyan Donna, sleek and streamlined, Goss's signature Cyan Donna is sure to turn heads as you speed by. I hate it. It looks like a kite. Why do you have a kite on your back? Okay? Don't make a kite and sell it to us as a Cyan Donna DE. Not into it. Uh, welcome to the Leverian. Delve deep into the history behind the ultimate speedster Goss and his signature gear. More Warframes will be joining the exhibit, so to all you Origin System archivists, uh, check back soon. Wait, is this launching? Is the Leverian launching? Or is it like... Well, how are you going to tell us to check back soon? Oh, you're probably telling us to check back soon with the rest of the Warframes. Anyway, Harrow Reliquary. Wow, there's going to be a lot of things to talk about this week. Bound by void and will, Harrow's Twilight Heart pulses within the sacred casket of a body reinvented. Oh, so emotional. Wield malicious spirits and arcane power with the Harrow Reliquary collection and renounce heresy with the Etheria armor set and re... Renudio Spear. Sure. Um, look link and mod link. Share your fashion frames and mod loadouts with friends and admirers alike. In your arsenal, select the link icon in your Warframe's appearance screen to share your complete fashion frame in chat, including cosmetics and colors. Select the link icon on your Warframe or weapon upgrade screen to share your mod loadouts. Um, I'm kind of excited about that. Here's the thing that everybody has been bitching about, and I can't blame them to be honest with you. Become the Shazwin Hero! Earn the title of the Origin System's most renowned bard. Fill your orbiter and missions with beautiful music using the Shadwin emote. Available in-game market as a bonus for owning the Shazwin decoration. If you already own the Shazwin decoration, you'll automatically be given the emote. If you're an instrument collector, don't miss the alternative versions of the Shazwin also available for purchase. Does anybody else kind of feel like DE's really laying into the money memes? Like, number one, can I just put this out there? We had the domestic robot, right? Then all of a sudden we got the domestic, as soon as it became a big meme, we got the domestic robot pack with slightly different variants of the domestic robot, right? A little Roomba action. And I think Mogamu broke it down and it was like, a uh, couple, like four bucks per pack. And now they're going to release the Shazwin. And they're like, okay, Shazwin's a big thing. Everybody likes this Shazwin thing. We're going to release different versions of the Shazwin. You can buy those too. I mean, I get it. You put money into it, but it's kind of a little bit uh, transparent. Infested dodo decorations. Does anybody give a shit? Does uh, your love for the infested aesthetic spread through you like being a fester disease? No. Um, start crafting today and get your hands on or like hand-like appendages on infested dojo pieces that would make Lephantis wriggle with pride. No. Additional highlights. Ribbon slot increase. Players can now increase their collection of ribbon mods from 90 to 120. And then planes of Eidolon bounty additions. All regular planes of bounty bounties now have bonus objectives, meaning you will receive extra rewards for going above and beyond your mission. That would be great if there was anything worth farming in the Plains of Eidolon aside from Eidolons. All right, so that is what this upcoming PC update is looking like. There are definitely some things that I am excited about, some things that look like absolute money grabs if I'm gonna be completely honest with you it's only because it's really early in the morning and Rob's brain is kind of like blah regardless um I still love all of you I still love Warframe um and I love my new car battery <laughs> So that's going to do it for me for now. Again, thank you guys for being so patient. We will have a little bit of a chat video coming at some point soon. Um, all of this news kind of broke a little bit early, and I planned on doing a different video where we kind of took a look at some of the comments um, from the Echoes of Umbra video, because I think that there's a lot of good discussion to be had there. Uh, regardless, that's going to do it for me for now. So as always... 
love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. Legit, I'm in such a state that I was wearing this makeup last night. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I wonder if there's like a persimmon emote.